Hello, I'm Herman. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today, in this video, I'm going to build a load control system using your phone via Bluetooth. So, with this system, we are going to be controlling eight loads using Bluetooth from our cell phone. Let's get started. After writing my code and then designing my board using PCB design software, it's called ZipTrace, I now proceeded with making the board using all the parts that I have in my little workshop. In this part, I'm going to walk you through the process of making the board. After designing my board using ZipTrace, and then proceeded with printing the, with the board out using a laser printer on the photo paper. So let's make the board. To do that, I cut the copper cloth to the side of the printing paper. And then I make sure that the copper cloth fit the board size. At this point, I clean the copper cloth using steel wool. Other people use acetone, but I, I prefer to use uh, steel wool because that's, that's what I have. After doing that, I calibrate my pressing iron to the maximum heating level. And then I gently and press the paper against the copper cloth for a period for a, for a period of time. For so doing this, I soak the board into water for a little period of time. Then I remove the paper from the board very gently on some all the lines are visible. Okay. After removing paper from the from the board, this is what it looks like. Sorry, I didn't film this process, the process of etching the board. But after that process, after, after uh, removing paper from the board, the next thing we do is we put it into um, perichlorite in order to etch the board. After etching, it looks like this. This process now is to remove uh, the ink from the board. We use um, a chemical that, I, that we call Julian in my area. But you can use acetone or you can use um, steel wool to clean that up. After cleaning the board out, this is what it looks like. Okay, after this is done, the next thing we do is we drill the board.
Okay, after drilling the board, we mount all the components on top of it and then we do soldering. so that all the components on the board After doing the soldering, after soldering the board, it looks like this. Everything's well soldered and nice. We are ready to go for the next stage. The load cables were sold out off camera, as you can see right there, and the power supply to the relays also. Okay, this is the panel on which everything is going to be mounted. We're going to mount the board, the, the loads, as you, as you will see in the following segment. Our loads in this case are bobs, since we just want to demonstrate an idea to somebody. So we're going to use skate bobs to represent our loads as you are seeing on the panel right there.
Now that you are done mounting everything, let's install the box. At this point, this is what the project looks like. So now let's install the, uh, the programmer, which is the USB to serial converter in our case. And then we install the Bluetooth module. Okay, let's connect the power cord to the system and then we plug it to the AC power line and then we test the system to see how everything responds. So at this point, we have to test the system to see how it works. So to do that, we're going to plug the USB cable to the programmer and then plug it to the computer. And then, first of all, um, flash the, the microcontroller using the Arduino software. Now, this is the moment of truth. Let's test the project to see how it works. To do that, we're going to use the serial, the serial monitor of the Arduino software, the serial terminal of the Arduino software to send the commands to the microcontroller board, and then we control those boards using the commands that were pre-programmed pre -programmed within the, um, the, the, the code. So let's do that. Great, everything works well. So now we're going to connect the Bluetooth module and then use our cell phone using a software called uh, Bluetooth Terminal for HC05 to test the whole thing and see how it works. Let's do that. Oh yeah, it works very well. So, the project is done. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.